Oh, it's really early in the morning. I haven't slept. I'm just going to check on my HMAC and all my other teas, and I thought my HMAC was dead. All shriveled up, but it's another malt, and I've only just literally found one malt, which it hid inside this little burrow. So, I'm hoping it's not too hungry because I can't find my tongs. Um, I don't really want to stick my hand in there even though it's freshly melted, it's not a good idea for anyone, especially not into the HMAX enclosure. Where are my bloody tongs gone? That's not a good idea, but screw it. I do that at my own risk. I wouldn't advise anybody else to ever stick their hand in a HMAX enclosure. In fact, I'm extremely stupid doing so. That's a very, very fresh malt. It's still warm. It's still pliable. Without any kind of... Soapy warm water. This seems to have got all its legs out fine. Both fangs, body, heads all come out fine. If anyone wants to know ooh, the size of the HMAC I have in my uh, hands because you don't get many shots of it out and about. That's the previous melt, so you can only guess as good as I can. About how big it's going to be now. My P. Rufalata, the HMAC, the Blue Island Blue Baboon, Hat on About, the Fringed Ornamental, it's Static as Ever, the Barra, Pocotheria Barra. Get my tongues ready. The Formosa. I'm not gonna lie, the Formosa and the Barra look extremely similar. In fact, if not opposites. My head gave us mature money. I've got the fan all the way around tonight. 